Welcome to SDHHV Bercerita brought to you by Sekolah Dian Harapan Holland Village. I'm Ibu Novia and I'm about to tell you a story about Christmas entitled The Best Christmas Ever by Marnie McGee and illustrated by Gavin Scott. Let's begin the story. Millicent Mouse was all a flutter. Christmas was only one day away and the little mouse could hardly wait. She had swept and scrubbed until everything sparkled. She had fluffed and dusted until she sneezed. Stick you! Millicent gathered apples and nuts from the cellar. In a flurry of flour, she baked an apple nut pie. She poured honey and spices into a kettle. Standing on tip two, she sniffed and smiled. Christmas just wouldn't be Christmas, she said, without my hot honey punch and apple nut pie. Millicent bundled up warm, then scrambled out into the snow. Her black boots crunched as she walked to and fro, gathering lots and lots of ivy. Christmas just wouldn't be Christmas, she puffed. Without my fresh ivy from for my wreath and berries to string on my tree. But instead of berries, Millicent found a baby hedgehog snoring softly in the snow with two whiskers. She gasped and tipped too close. He needs a better nest than that. So Millicent wove all of her ivy into a leafy blanket and gently tucked it around him. By the time Millicent had finished, the sky was growing dark, fiddle she fast. Too late to search for a berry now. Millicent scarred home. There, she found Felicity Finch and her chicks searching for food. What or oh, what shall we do? The mother bird cried. The snow has covered our seeds. Come in where it's warm, Millicent said. I've just made an apple nut pie. In the flick of a wing, the kitchen was full of hungry chicks. Their feathers fluttered and flapped as they flopped around Millicent's pie. Tasty, 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 how kind, they chirped. And then they were gone in a woods of feathers and dust. Millicent sneezed, stick you, stick you. Nothing was left but, but scattered scraps. Millicent heard a knock at the door. Fiddle, she muttered. Whatever now? Merry Christmas, Millicent, called Gabriel Scott. I brought you a present perfume. Perfume, said Millicent, hiding a smile. Why, thank you. Gabriel dabbed at his nose. I have a terrible cold. Try my hot honey punch, Millicent said. It's very good for a terrible cold. Gabriel lifted the kettle and drank every drop. Thanks, he said, an amble of home. Millicent looked all around. It looks as if it's a storm has hit. Every dish is dirty. My pie and my punch are gobbled and gone. I have no ivy for my wreath, no berries for my tree, which the whiskers. How can Christmas be Christmas now? Then Millicent smiled. At least I have my perfume, perfume from a skunk. She giggled and bustled off to bed. The baby head up is warm, she whispered. The chicks are full of pie. The punch will help dear Gabriel's cold. And with a yawn, she fell asleep. The next morning, Millicent walked to a chorus of chips and chirps. Outside were robins, sparrows, and the finches, and they were all singing for her. Behind the birds came a family of hedgehogs. Grandfather Hedgehog carried a sack, and the baby had flowers stuck in his sparky spines. Chippy chip, chirp, chip, chip. Last came Gabriel's skunk with a lopsided grin and great big cake. Gracious goodness, exclaimed Millicent. She invited them in. 
They trimmed the tree together with razors from Grandfather Hatchock sack, buttons and ribbons, sparkling foil, and scraps of cloth. Millicent's black eyes sparkle. This is the very best Christmas ever, and I'm surely the happiest mouse in the forest. Christmas just wouldn't be Christmas without my wonderful friend.